My name is Alistair Lee. In this video, I'm going to walk through the process of enabling and disabling the new HTML client in Adobe Connect 10. Adobe Connect 10 introduced a brand new participant experience based completely on HTML. There's nothing to download or install. It's faster. It's even more accessible. But it doesn't yet support every content type. If you're sharing PowerPoint slides, uploading a video, or using a whiteboard, then participants in the HTML experience won't be able to properly see everything that's going on. Let's take a look at a room. I'm going to switch over to the host view of this particular room. And we'll move to a layout with a whiteboard. Now, I can see over here in the attendees list that two of my participants are using the HTML experience. I can see that because their names are showing up in blue. I've got a whiteboard on this layout, and I'm being warned by Adobe Connect because HTML is enabled for this room that the participants may not be able to see this particular whiteboard. From the participants' perspective, they'll be warned that this feature is not yet available. They'll be prompted to switch to the classic view. They can do this at any time from the menu as well. We've got links here to download the Adobe Connect application and switch to the classic view that supports all of these features. Let's take a look at how to enable or disable this HTML experience. You can do that in two ways on an Adobe Connect account. First, at the account level for the entire account, affecting everybody and all of their rooms. You can also enable or disable this HTML experience at the room level. By default, the HTML experience is enabled at the account level, meaning that everybody will have access to it. But it's disabled at the room level, meaning your existing Adobe Connect rooms and even your new rooms by default will not be available using the new HTML client. That's easy to change, so let's take a look at how. First, we'll look at how to affect this at an account level. I'm going to click on Administration and then move to Compliance and Control. And here I've got HTML client settings. You can see here we can not only enable or disable the HTML client at the account level, but we can enable it or disable it for specific room types. We can have it enabled, for example, for our webinars and impacting all of our seminar rooms, but not our virtual classrooms or meetings. In this case, we've enabled it for all three, and that's the default. Your account will have the HTML client enabled for all three, but disabled at the room level. So let's take a look at that now. I'll click on Meetings. We'll create a new meeting. And you can see here for this new meeting, by default, the HTML client is turned off. It's easy to turn it on simply by clicking this box. If you've got an existing Adobe Connect room, it'll be off by default. Again, easy to change. Let's take a look at my personal room here. I'll click on Edit Information and then scroll down to where we see the HTML client. And I can either disable it or enable it by clicking that checkbox. By default, these will be turned off. But by checking that box, you'll enable participants to come into your room using the new Adobe Connect 10 HTML client. Thanks for your time.